Hi, Andy Nibo, head of derivatives here at Tab Group, talking today about high frequency trading in the options market. High frequency trading has gotten a lot of public and media attention in recent months. Um, it involves the computerized rapid trading of some sort of asset class uh, through highly sophisticated technology strategies uh, that rely on getting in and out of the markets as quickly as possible to be successful. We've noticed a trend where these types of strategies are being used more and more in the options market. These strategies are, are providing uh, plenty of liquidity. They compete with market makers uh, in providing liquidity to the options market, which may be uh, part of the controversy. Market makers view high-frequency trading strategies as competition to what they do. Uh, in some uh, in some ways, uh, it is a competition that uh, that does not play on a level playing field. Uh, these high-frequency trading strategies are, are often used uh, by liquidity providers that don't have market making licenses or memberships at exchanges. Uh, so they're not subject to some of the rules and regulatory structures that are uh, that uh, market makers are under when they operate on an exchange. High frequency trading strategies have been used in the options markets for many years, however. Market makers typically use a high frequency trading strategy. They, uh, they seek to, uh, to provide liquidity either f to get in fast and get out fast depending on what their models are. High frequency trading strategies used by uh, some of these new entrants to the options markets are doing the same kinds of things. Is this good or bad for the options market? Uh, for retail investors, it's net positive. Uh, more liquidity in smaller sizes allows retail investors to get in and out of the marketplace very quickly uh, to get their 10 lot trade done or their 15 lot, 20 lot trade done. Um, the market makers, however, uh, tend not to like this uh, this uh, uh, high frequency trading from um, from non market making firms. Uh, they view it as perhaps toxic, uh, better informed uh, flow than they have themselves, uh, and they can't compete from a technology perspective. Uh, it costs tens of millions of dollars to implement these strategies, particularly if you're a large firm with a presence across many exchanges. Um, as a market maker, you have certain obligations. You have to quote across a number of different series, across a number of different strike prices, uh, across a, a number of different expiration periods. Uh, mar non market making entities that are providing liquidity don't have those same obligations. So the playing field is somewhat uneven with that respect. Uh, all in all, though, uh, liquidity providers that are not market makers that are using these high frequency trading strategies are a net positive to liquidity in the marketplace. Exchanges that are using a uh, price time priority love these types of traders. They come in, they provide liquidity, uh, they're in and out, and they provide order flow that attracts other users to their options market. Uh, so uh, high frequency trading strategies are a mainstay of the options market. Market making firms have been using them for years. Now you have a new class of, of trading firms that are entering the marketplace using the same types of strategies, providing more liquidity and all in all a good thing for the options market. Thanks again, Andy Nivo, head of derivatives here at Tab Group.